Hi, I'm Nita Gill. Strawberries are coming into season here in Southern California, so I'm going to show you an idea for making chocolate covered strawberries. You'll need strawberries and some kind of chocolate to coat your strawberries. What I have here is bittersweet chocolate that was a chocolate bar. I just chopped it up into smaller pieces. You could also use chocolate chips or white chocolate chips or white candy coating or any other color candy coating. I find the easiest way to melt chocolate is to simply pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. In between, in between each 30 seconds, you want to go in and stir it before putting it back in. And depending on your microwave, in about a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, your chocolate should be melted. Of course, it also depends on the quantity of your chocolate. So just take it in and out every 30 seconds, give it a stir, and you'll get a nice consistency of melted chocolate. Here it is after the first 30 seconds. You can see just the bottom is a little bit melty. So we'll put it back in for another 30. Here it is after the second 30 seconds. You can see it's considerably meltier, but we still have some chunks in there. So I'll put it in for another 30 seconds. And now here it is after another 13 seconds. I thought another 30 seconds might be a little too much. Ooh, the bowl's a little hot. I need to set that down. But it looks like we're going to have nice smooth melted chocolate. Just a couple of little bumps in there. Okay, good enough. We'll let that cool just a little before we dip the strawberries. Before you dip your strawberries, you want to make sure that they're already washed and completely dried. If you dip wet strawberries, it may cause your chocolate to seize up. And if you haven't had that happen before, that's when your chocolate turns into a big gloppy mess and you can't melt it anymore, you can't do much with it. So let me show you what that's like so you'll know what I'm talking about. Here we have our chocolate. It's nice and smooth and melted. This is what can happen when it gets water in it. Well, it's not seizing. Maybe that's because it's already melted. Let me add just a little bit more so you can see it seize up. Well, you can see it's starting to thicken there. That's still usable, but oh, here we go. See, it's kind of getting gloppy and thick and yucky. This does not make for a good strawberry dipping chocolate. Sometimes it gets even worse than that. Let's try and dip a strawberry in that. And it's just not very appealing, is it? This is what you're trying to avoid. If you use dry strawberries, your chocolate won't seize like this. Now we'll dip the strawberry. Simply take your nice, clean, dry strawberry and dip it into the chocolate. And you may have done this many times before. And what most people do then is to set this down on, a, on wax paper or parchment paper to let it cool. But what I'm going to recommend that you do that's a little different is put a skewer in it. And actually, you could have put the skewer in it before you dipped it. And then rather than set it down on wax paper that would end up giving you a flat surface like this. Here's a strawberry that I did in white chocolate, dried it on wax paper, and it gives you this flat surface. So rather than do that, we're just going to put it on a stick. We're going to set it in a glass so that it can dry and retain nice smooth edges all around the top of the strawberry. So again, very simply, you simply take a strawberry, skewer it, Dip it in your chocolate as much as you'd like. And let it drip off a little bit. And then simply set it in the glass to dry. That way you can take these strawberries and use them in a bouquet of chocolate covered strawberries and you won't end up with these flat spots. Pretty cool? So here's a very simple finished bouquet made with strawberries covered with white chocolate. You'll notice that all of the tops are smooth. We don't have any flat edges from them sitting on wax paper. So this is a very simple, easy, inexpensive thing to make as a gift or when you're going to somebody's home. I simply bought a little pitcher. I bought this at Discount Housewares 
place for, I don't know, three, four dollars, something like that. I've got probably two dollars worth of parsley in here, four dollars worth of strawberries, and a few dollars worth of chocolate. So for about fifteen dollars we have this very pretty strawberry bouquet. I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson with an idea of what you can do with your fresh spring strawberries. I'm Nita Gill. See you next time. Skewered strawberries can be fun additions to any fruit bouquet. If you liked this mini lesson, you might also enjoy my Bouquets and Butterflies video lessons on DVD. In this set of lessons, you'll learn how to make several types of fruit flower bouquets with butterfly garnishes. Thanks for watching.